Hello guys, welcome back to Chamber of Chess. Today I'm going to show you another endgame from my uh, chess.com archives. Here, this endgame was pretty memorable due to the, you know, the position two pawns versus rook. So here the first one that crossed my mind was just capture, although I guess d7 would have just been more straightforward because in case of queen I'm just forcing him to move one square further and just walk my king all the way to e7 and promote it. But the way it happened, I just took the pawn first and after d7, his rook is stuck on the eighth uh, row. I make sure I push his king away every time he tries to get near me. D8, walk here. And the end game is very easily winning for me because I'm just gonna capture his both pawns. I mean, king d5. And there is no way he can defend this one due to Zook's wank in pawn end games. That's it. In case of other possible variations like this. I'm just going to go to e3 and I don't let him capture with a check. That's the most important thing. Otherwise, well, I can't even go here. But let's say, for example, king g3 and king d4 is a great mistake because after this is the check and he gets my pawn. But after king e4, he really cannot do that due to a queen. So, king e5, no, sorry, king e4. And he can't capture, so he's gonna walk near me, but that's not enough to hold the position. And just queen. That's it. That's it for this endgame, guys. Subscribe, like, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.